Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Freddie Charles. And today I'm talking about interlacing single strokes um, using the Moa technique. It's something that um, I'm a huge proponent of because I think it's such a cool feeling exercise and, and technique that you can employ in your playing. Um, I put a video on Instagram very briefly showing a triplet version of it. And you know, I basically said that I, I haven't really seen much on it other than Jojo Mayer really doing it um, in his Secret Weapons video years ago. But I'll tell you what, it's a powerful technique. I use it a lot, and it's it's really, you know, once you get mastery of the, the kind of molar, molar pumping motion, putting them together becomes super powerful. So the goal, and when I was learning this, really wasn't much um, out there to kind of figure it out. So I, I eventually realized that it's, you know, it's, it's playing less to get more. So... You're really hitting that drum with that one accent. Getting If you're doing triplets, you're getting three for one. It's the same thing when you put the hands together. You're not going... You're not playing all those beats. They're bouncing. They're controlled bounces. So. so once you get that... Going, it feels incredible. I mean, it's, it's like a... Like Jim Chapin says, the dance in midair. And you can work it up really fast. You can and then you can do you can do sixteenth. And the and the triple one is kind of easier. But the trick is to kind of individually get the hands working. Now look at my left. I'm really not doing anything but just flicking that wrist. Ghosting the right hand. And the, it's almost as if the stick's playing itself. really nicely and it's a great technique you can play it all around the drums um, and, and like I said it feels great makes your hands feel amazing um, but it will take some time it'll take you a little bit of time the way to kind of start on this technique is to learn how to let your sticks bounce out so kind of doing these or you can let them I mean when you're doing these strokes That second hand is coming in on that and the one, two, three, four, one. So let them bounce. You just work on that. Letting the sticks do everything. And then you kind of like reload it. That's where the molar comes in. And even that tempo I'm playing there is just really nice. It just you can just play it all day. Kind of hands are just dancing there. Pick it up a little bit. And like I said, it's something that you should put in your toolbox, and it just feels great to play. Um, and it can really help you, you know, when you're doing fast passages across the kit. And, just kind of throw it in there and, and go around the tom. So there's a lot of applications for it. Um, come check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help. I'm happy to help you with this technique. 52 weeks of hands. You can sign up on my website. Uh, there's a link. And uh, I'm sending out a little technique tidbit every Monday. So uh, hope to hear from you soon. Take care, guys.